Identity fraud may have led to Tennessee mishandling more than $1.9 million worth of unemployment benefits. That's right. A new audit published just today shows how the state struggled to keep up with these new federal programs, and it led to widespread systemic issues. News Channel 5 investigative reporter Levi Ismail has the story behind the numbers. And what stood out the most from these findings, Levi? You know, for months we had been told by state officials that there was not a widespread problem, but now we know a lot of money was paid to accounts that may not have deserved it, leaving behind those who did. These are the problems of before. These are all the cards that, that were compromised. That continue to haunt Leslie Albert today. In total, she says identity thieves have stolen more than $60,000 of her money. They're still trying to hack my accounts. It's a feeling she knows all too well, and she shared with us just last year, having spent much of the year on the phones after she was told her unemployment claim may have been compromised. I mean, I got automated messages, please be patient, please be patient, please be patient. She applied in June 2020, and by the time she finally managed to prove her identity and get benefits, it was now September 2021. And when you have all of those things and you have to continually prove that you are you, to me it tells of a system that's broken. While Leslie was forced to wait, we now know the state paid out more than $1.9 million to claims that may not have qualified. A new audit claims those who applied for standard unemployment and were stalled until they gave proper ID later applied for pandemic benefits and were approved without much, if any, vetting. Well, what we experienced was just a failure of leadership. Representative John Ray Clemens says even though our state vendors should have known some claims were being approved automatically, Governor Bill Lee and others could have done more. So I think the people who are working at the department are doing the best job that they possibly can with too little resources, antiquated technology, and simply unable to handle the job that's assigned to them. The rush to process claims as fast as possible is one reason the audit stated that as much as $410,000 was paid to claims created with the identities of dead people. It's simply unacceptable and taxpaying Tennesseans should expect more of our state's leadership. Leslie knows this is not just a Tennessee problem. She's now up to three states where someone's used her name to get benefits, bringing the problems of the past to make the nightmares of today. We've got the technology out there to fix it. It's just who's going to step up and do it, you know? Now, we reached out to the state's unemployment officials for comment, but they said that they're still reviewing the findings. They did respond in the audit and claimed that staffing was a major issue, even after trying to hire more than 500 people just this past year. Yeah, we remember that two years ago when all this began, the pandemic. They were really short staffed. Definitely hurting. That's for sure. Thanks, Levi. Thank you.